A new podcast by 48 Hours is diving deep into a Florida mystery. Murder in the Orange Grove is an eight episode series that follows the story of Crosley Green, who was arrested for a 1989 murder he says he did not commit. The podcast features new interviews and recordings to the case. Joining us now to discuss is Aaron Moriarty, CBS journalist and correspondent on 48 Hours. Aaron, welcome. Well, thank you, and a good friend of yours, Cindy, who I see in our neighborhood. Very true, and I'm always listening to your podcast. And for this case, you've been following this one for 25 years now. Can you tell us briefly about the case? Well, that's hard. That's why it's so great to have this eight-episode podcast. This is a story that we've been working on for literally 25 years. And we're going to take people through a very bumpy ride, the same bumpy ride that we've been on, trying to figure out what happened to a young man in Florida in April of 1989. Um, when we first start on the case, I have to admit, I thought it was a robbery that had gone wrong, ending up in a murder. But there wasn't any real evidence to, uh, to connect the man that they had arrested. So we thought maybe, oh, it's a case of mistaken identity. But then over the years, we find the first responders and they're telling us a totally different story. Maybe there wasn't a robbery at all. Maybe the victim was the shooter. So we have been through just the craziest ride to try to figure out what really happened. And then if you think there wasn't a robbery, you have to look at this man who has spent the last 35 years in prison and say, well, if there wasn't a robbery, why is he in prison? And so that really, in a nutshell, is this crazy story that, that we're presenting in Murder in the Orange Grove. And what did you want to explore in this podcast that's different from what you've previously covered in the case? Well, I think there were a lot of questions over the years. Why did Crosley Green get picked at all? And this podcast has allowed us, and it's really kind of exciting, to go back to interviews that we did in the very beginning that we never got to air. And you also get a history with this case that is very rare with true crime. Um, we ended up, we have interviews with one of the original jurors, with witnesses at the trial. Um, you find out people who say they were pressured to testify against him. This, this is information we've never been able to reveal or get into past shows. So you have a better understanding of why this case went the way it did and why this man, Crosley Green, has been in and out of prison and what is justice in Florida. And, you know, I've been listening to this podcast, and one of the first things you say that in your, you know, 40 years of investigating cases, this is the one that troubles you the most. Um, why is that? Well, Cindy, I think any injustice, and this certainly appears to be a grave injustice, is one of those kind of cases that I think as any journalist feels, you know, we want to make a difference. And I've worked on this case for so long, and... I haven't had the impact I'd like to have had. Um, you know, I'm a lawyer. I want the system to work for everybody. Um, and I don't think it worked properly in this case. And I think most listeners will agree with me when they listen to the podcast. So it, it haunts me. It eats at me. And a judge ruled that Crosley Green has been wrongfully convicted and he was released, but now has been ordered back to prison. Why is that and what happens now for Green? Well, that is part, <clears throat> sorry, the craziness of this. So yes, his conviction was overturned. He then got out during the pandemic, but it was a temporary release because the state of Florida appealed it. Instead of giving him a new trial to find out what really happened, they instead just appealed it. And the Court of Appeals decided, well, yes, uh, there, was, there was evidence that was withheld in his case, but was it crucial evidence? Was it material evidence? And so the the appellate court went with the state of Florida, and I'd never seen this happen before. Crosley went back to prison. So now Crosley's hope is parole or clemency, um, but that has issues. So um, that's why this case was worth really doing a deep dive on. 
Well, Aaron, thank you so much. CBS journalist and correspondent on 48 Hours, and I will see you in the neighborhood, and I can't wait to finish listening to this podcast. Thanks so much, Cindy. All right. New episodes of Murder in the Orange Grove, the troubled case against Crossley Green. It's going to be available every Wednesday on Apple Podcasts or Wondery Plus.